Hey everybody, John Houlihan here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to do a video about the Mackie Pro FX4 mixer. Uh, a couple of months ago I did uh, a video about this mixer, basically just reviewing the features and controls and overview of how it worked. Uh, and it seemed to be pretty popular, so I wanted to do another video, but this time do a live demo with it and actually um, do vocals and acoustic guitar through it. This type of mixer uh, would be good for people doing live performances either in a, like a, a solo act with vocals and acoustic guitar or possibly a duo with a keyboard as well. So I wanted to basically put it through its paces and actually try doing this. Now it doesn't have a digital interface. I think the six channel versions and above do have digital interface. But it has analog tape outs um, so I'm going to run those into my digital interface and record it on my, uh, my DAW and the computer. And that way you'll get an idea of how this unit actually sounds. I'll audition some of the, the effects. Uh, it has some pretty good onboard effects. Uh, years ago in the Toronto area I used to do solo acoustic gigs, vocals and acoustic. And back then, um, generally you would need a, a mixer that had a, a box with a combined mixer and power, a power amplifier inside it and then the amp you would run out to your speakers and a monitor. Nowadays uh, they've got better technology so a lot of the monitors and speakers have their own amplifiers built in because they can make them light enough now. So these, these type of mixers are great for that. They don't have an amplifier, it's just a mixer and then you take a line out and uh, monitor out, run that to a powered monitor and then your mains you run that to powered speakers. So it's it's really a great option for solo acoustic and uh, duo acts this this kind of mixer and I want to give you an opportunity to see how it actually sounds when you're using it and I'll go over th the controls again how to set up your levels and, and all that good stuff okay so uh, hope you uh, enjoy this video again uh, hit the subscribe button please and uh, let's go ahead and, and see how this this baby works Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at the setup and we'll see how all this is going to work. Um, <clears throat> so, starting on channel one at the top of the channel one strip, um, we're gonna, that's where I'm going to plug in my Takamine guitar. Now, you'll notice it's plugged in with a um, quarter, inch, quarter inch jack. There's a button right here that says line and high Z. Now in this case, we're plugging in uh, an acoustic guitar with a built-in pickup system. These pickup systems have their own little preamps. So it's going to be a line level signal coming out of here. So in this case, you're going to leave this button in the up position. If you were plugging uh, an electric guitar directly in, then you would push it down into the high Z uh, position because an electric guitar d generally doesn't have any preamp. In this case, we have a preamp. So we're leaving this in the line level in the, the up position on this button. So we just plug that in here. That's channel one. Then you're going to set, um, set your gain here. There's a small LED here that's going to flash green when you're getting a good signal. So we've got ours at about the two o'clock position. Also, um, I generally use this low cut 100 hertz button. So that's engaged. It cuts out anything. There's a roll off, uh, a high pass filter that rolls off anything below 100 hertz. Um, I've got the EQ set at the 12 o'clock position, so not much going on there. Then each channel also has an effect send on it. Um, so we're going to adjust the, the effect send for the acoustic guitar here. And then Finally, down here we have our output level for channel one, but you have to you have to adjust the gain uh, first. Down here between channels one and two, if <clears throat> if you leave this button, there's a pan button instead of a pan control. Uh, if you leave the button in the upright position, then you're going to get um, a mono send, a mono signal from both channels one and two. If you push it down, what it does is it pans channel 1 hard left, pan, channel 2 hard right. 
So we're going to push it down actually and, and pan the acoustic guitar to the left and the vocals to the right. Uh, on, chan on the channel 2 strip, we've got the, an SM58 microphone uh, plugged into the XLR input. Um, and this is where you'll get a chance to listen to the, what, what Mackie calls the Vita Mic Pre. That's their, the name of their fancy pants mic preamp. So we just have a standard SM58 vocal mic plugged in there. Again, the, you, you have to set the, the gain um, at about the 2 o'clock position. Make sure you get a, a, green, a green signal on here. Shows you getting a good signal. I've also engaged the high pass filter rolling off anything below about 100 hertz. Uh, right now the EQ is set flat and then I got the FX send. You know it's about the 11 o'clock. Uh, position and the level, the output level is at about U, which stands for unity. So uh, again, I've engaged this stereo pan button, pushed it down so that we're panning left and right. And I did that because we're going to be going f from the, the tape out left and right into my digital interface. In this case, it's an Apollo Twin X. So we're going into the two line, uh, line one and two left, right in there. And then there's a Thunderbolt 3 output, which is going into my iMac computer and we're rec recording it on DAW, which in this case is uh, Logic Pro X. Uh, so that's, that's our basic setup. Now you can see uh, Mackie has what they call the Ready FX, Ready FX effects engine. The first song I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use the, the 0 3, uh, the 0 3 preset. Um, we'll, we'll try that out and give that a shot, see how that goes. So, this is our basic setup acoustic guitar into channel 1. We leave the, the line high Z input switch up in the line position. Again, if you want to plug in an electric guitar, you're going to push that down for the high Z input set your level, set some, um, the FX send for, for either channel so that you're sending something to the effects processor. Uh, and that's our, that's our basic setup. So in the next segment, what we're going to do is we're going to actually start doing some recording, record some songs, listen to the effects, uh, and see how it sounds. Okay, everybody, we're back. Um, you can hear I've got some effect on my voice. Okay, I'll, I'll turn the effect off. You just hit this mute button here. That mutes the effects. All right. So uh, there we are, 100% dry, no effects. Um, my acoustic guitar is my Takamine EN10C is plugged into channel one here to the quarter inch input. Uh, my SM58 vocal mic is plugged into channel two. Uh, the XLR input, and you can see um, I've already adjusted the gain for each channel um, and the level at the bottom. We've got every the acoustic guitars panned hard left, uh, vocals hard right by using this button here. So as you can see, everything's uh, dry right now because I've got the effect mute set on. Now if I do that, okay, now the effects are engaged and you can control the amount of effect through each channel with this effects send here so that's uh, none of the channels being sent to the effect unit there we've got a reasonable amount and then here we, we've got a, a ridiculous amount okay so let's put it back to kind of reasonable so here we are that's 100 percent dry and then here we have the effect <clears throat> Okay, so the effect that we've got on here now is number three, uh, which is called small stage. And you can hear also what the, uh, you can also hear what the guitar sounds like. Here's the guitar dry. effect on the guitar. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a song. It's an original song. It's called Sweet Valentine, available on Spotify and iTunes if anybody's interested. Okay, so I'm just going to play a little bit of the song. So you can see it's a pretty decent little mixer. The effects are good. That was preset number three, um, small stage. Uh, so I'm going to turn it to, I'm going to show you how we can adjust the um, presets. I'm going to turn it to preset number 12, which is echo. OK, so we got preset 12, so I'll activate the effect. Here, Here we, go. we go. So, so echo. echo. Gives, gives you kind, you kind of, of a little bit of a rock and rolly sound, sound like, like a rockabilly. Rock I, I can give, give the, the guitar, guitar a little, little more effect. effect. So, and I've and got, got it on my, on my voice, voice as well. well. You, you can, can hear that's, that's got, got a, a... So that's, that's more, more of a... a so that's, that's an, an echo, echo sound. sound. Back, Back to, to number, number preset, preset number three. three. This is more of a warm. So that's a warmer sound, um, as opposed to number preset 12 is more of an echoey sound. Uh, they've got a bunch of other other ones. We can try, uh, let's see, plate reverb. I think that's number seven. Okay, so this is plate reverb. And I'll try singing that song again. So 
turned off. So rhyme and a reason why this world spins around with all of those people love isn't found. Oh, I never had someone I could call my Somewhere down the line is my sweet Valentine. She just walks right through that door. Fuck, turn on. Somewhere down the line, my sweet Valentine. She just walks right. Back to the echo rock and roll effect. So that's, that's a bit, a bit of, of a rock and roll-y thing, thing we got, got going, going on there. there. Okay, okay, so, so uh, we're, we're going to bypass, bypass the effects, effects again. again. Okay, so the idea of this demo was to demo um, this small mixer. I think it's pretty capable, uh, pretty good for, um, you know, an acoustic vocal solo gig or, you know, a duo. You can have acoustic vocal and uh, you could have uh, a stereo keyboard plugged into inputs three and four. Uh, I think the effects are decent quality. So um, I think Mackie has recently released version three of these mixers. I don't know if they make the four channel one now. Um, I think they might be up to the six channel one now. But uh, I, I really recommend this. It's a good little mixer and I hope you guys got a good idea of how it sounds and uh, how, you know how things would sound if you, if you did such a gig with acoustic guitar and vocals. Um, please, if you like the video, please subscribe and hit, uh, give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.